My name is Gary Miko. Um, I have asked you to answer me. Answer me. My name is Gary Miko. Um, I have asked you to ask me some questions. Here are the answers. If I wasn't good at comedy, my dream job would have been um, definitely like I used to be a debt collector, and the transition from that to comedy, I had to uh, get a part time job and uh, helping kids with learning difficulties. Um, I really enjoyed that, so that's the avenue I would have went down. Uh, if not that, it would have been working in children's homes, um, which is obviously something I've got first-hand experience in, so it would have been good to have given uh, that back. I really would have uh, enjoyed that career. If I could remove one thing from the world, it would be arrogant, selfish people. Easy. People don't believe me when I tell them this, but I've never had a bad heckle. Um, and I've had a few conversations with people about it and they tell me that it's because that apparently I come off quite, not aggressive, but I come, I've got a vibe on stage like, don't mess with him. And apparently, and obviously the Glaswegian accent's quite uh, aggressive. I think people are kind of maybe um, think twice about heckling me on stage. So I've genuinely never had a bad heckle. The most ridiculous thing anyone has ever tricked me into uh, is without a shadow of a doubt, I'm quite gullible. And uh, my, an old friend uh, used to wind me up all the time. One of the things he told me was, he said, Gary, do you know what Sony stands for? So like the, the manufacturing uh, company that do TVs and stuff. And I was like, no. And he meant it stands for somewhere outside New York. And I was like, really? And he's like, no, you dick. Um, it's a Japanese company, why would they? Name it that. So I, I'm extremely gullible. <laughs> the worst place to tour naked would be everywhere. Um, yeah, especially Scotland because of the midges. Ainsley uh, has pretty much taught me everything. Um, like being, becoming a dad at 17 years old. Don't get me wrong, she hasn't like sat me down and went, I'm going to teach you this. But just being a dad from a young age, Ainsley has taught me um, all the values and morals that I have, I guess, and just how to be um, an adult before time and, and, and be a mature man um, from a very young age. Um, but yeah, that's just been a natural progression throughout life. Like, I'd like to think I would have turned out that way anyway, but Ainsley's definitely helped mould me um, into the man that I am today. Gracie's taught me fuck all. Um, Gracie's taught me that I don't want any more kids. Um, <laughs> no, I love her daily. The great thing about, the great thing about, that, that Gracie's taught me um, is that, it, it, like when Ainsley was born, um, I was only 17 and I didn't, really get a chance to soak it up like back then I was still a young daft little boy whereas when Gracie came along I was 38 so it's not so much she's taught me things but she's given me an opportunity to enjoy and, and, and appreciate and like treasure every single second of her growing up um, I'm actually getting to see it through fresh eyes again and that that's amazing that that's the best thing about being a granddad have I ever thought about having sex with a man yeah, and do you know what? Every single man in the world has had that vision in their head. That doesn't mean that you've enjoyed it or you've pursued it. Every single man at some point has had a vision <laughs> of, of being with another man. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't pursue it. It's not something that I then expanded on in my mind. Um, I, I, I find men attractive. Um, I am comfortable enough within my own sexuality to know if a man is good looking or not and, and find them attractive. But uh, no, willies terrify me. So, yeah, no, no, no. Uh, I was, before being a comedian, I was a debt collector for nine years. But because I'm only five foot eight and I smile too much, they wouldn't let me out of the office. So I was on the phones all the time. Um, I worked in uh, care, the care industry. So I helped uh, kids. Uh, with learning difficulties, um, which again was just, that was a brilliant job. Um, the staff are underpaid massively. Um, out with those two, like even going back in time, God, I think I've done everything. I have uh, I've packed meat, 
Um, I've bottled whiskey. I have. Uh, I've worked in an ice cream van. Um, I have cleaned toilets. I have uh, worked in football stadiums. I've driven for companies. I've done pretty much everything, but not for long, because I wasn't very committed or a good worker or sober. <laughs> If I could go back to my younger self, and um, I guess that comes into the, the category of what advice would I give myself, um, I would tell myself that everything is going to be fine, but I would tell myself to pull my finger out of my bahuki quicker um, and not waste so much time. Um, I spent too much time in my 20s uh, and early 30s just partying and, um, and not having and chasing my goals so I would definitely tell myself I mean I, I, it's different for me now because I'm here so I wouldn't change anything about my life um, but yeah my advice to anyone else would be just pursue your goals um, younger right, definitely Tom Hardy uh, I don't think it's any secret that, that my man crush is Tom Hardy so I'd want him to play me I don't know I'd want to play my younger self um, I don't know any young Actors, um, oh, what's the guy that's in Transformers? He's young, actually. Sheila Booth, he looks quite young, so yeah, yeah. I guess Sheila Booth. Shia Booth. Shia Booth. <laughs> Send. Send me them. I don't get enough of them. I don't get any. It's no fair. Just send me loads. Um, both of them. Right, of all the women that, <laughs> that have made me offers, the funniest was definitely uh, uh, a woman basically, I don't know if this is funny or scary, right, but a woman basically sent me a message asking me to fart in a jar. Um, and I just replied back, okay, I've done it, now what? And she never got back to me. So if you're watching, it's still at home, jarred up. Uh, the sweetest thing uh, or proposition that I have ever had was without a shadow of a doubt, a farmer woman messaged me and she said, if you come and live on my farm with me, I will wake you up with head and a full English breakfast every morning. I was like, where's the sign? Where's, where's the contract? Let's do it. And she never got back to me. My favourite thing to do in downtime uh, apart from obviously play with Gracie and, and see I'm obsessed with comedy I don't get much downtime um, and when I do I'm just thinking about comedy or writing comedy but um, I do love cheesy films like see like your Z-list actors that are in like is it Shark Nando or Shark Nado where you've got like flying sharks with three heads and stuff just really bad acting I don't know what it is about it I just love it I think it's because I can just switch off and I, I just enjoy it. I like watching really, really bad. I don't even think it's bad acting. I think it's bad editing. I think that's what it is. Like, bad, bad editing. I like it. I don't know why. What three items are essential during sex? Uh, I guess not so much items, but necessities. Uh, a partner, a ring light, and a safe word. Yeah, the, the, the scar through my eyebrow um, was uh, basically what happened when I was five years old. Um, I was sleeping and I fell out of my bed and I hit my head off the bedside cabinet. I was still sleeping, but my mum um, heard the noise, so she came running in and uh, she uh, just basically put me back to bed because that's what parents done in the, the, the 80s. Uh, they didn't really give a shit about the kids. Like, my mum was actually having a party. I said, Mum, why didn't you take me to the hospital? And she's like, because we were having a party. Like, I'm sorry I interrupted your night, Mum, with my, my, my head split wide open. And she I said, what if I die? She's like, no, you were fine, Gary, you were snoring. I'm like, brilliant, Mum, thanks. So yeah, that's, I got the scar from falling out my bed uh, where my mum was having a party. And then um, she just put me back to bed. That's God's honest truth.
that's all my questions answered. Uh, thanks for asking them. Um, if you've got any questions that you want to ask me in the future, leave them in the comments below and we'll do another video another time. Bye, cheers.